shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. Out of all the people on earth, God revealed the birth of his only begotten son to these shepherds. He could have chosen anyone. He should, could have chosen the priest or the king, hallelujah, the Levites. He could have chosen anybody. But God chooses the humble. James 4 and 6 declare, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore, he saith, God resisteth the proud, but he giveth grace to the humble. Hallelujah. One of the greatest honors in human history was given to some shepherds doing their own thing in the field and God picked them out out of everybody on the planet and said, I'll bestow this honor on you. Hallelujah. Christ is coming and he's going to be born in a manger. Hallelujah. God could have chose anybody. God would dispatch angels, angels only to these lowly shepherds Think about those times where God visited you and spoke to you. Not a preacher, not an evangelist, nobody else. God spoke directly to you. How amazing it is that God will speak to us through the Holy Spirit with that still, small voice. He guides us and he directs us, Brother Solly. Not only did God reveal to them the birth, he allowed them to see the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one that the prophets spoke lie about lying in the manger Emmanuel that Matthew talked about God with us wrapped in swaddling clothes what a privilege to be a shepherd what a privilege to be a shepherd hallelujah uh, the lowest uh, on the totem pole of society God chose a shepherd hallelujah you may think I'm nobody today hallelujah God chose a shepherd and if he chose a shepherd he can choose you yes. 